The U.S. housing market is about to crash the U.S. economy. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It is very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, buckle up and strap in. We got a good one to unpackage today. My gosh, this is insanity doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result is in fact the definition of insanity. Booms and bust historically in the markets. Every boom we've ever had has always delivered a bust. We just had the biggest boom ever produced in human history. Somehow this time was going to be different. My gosh, congratulations to everybody who's awake right now, centered and surrounded with like-minded people. It's been my pleasure to talk to many of you. While we do continue to cover the U.S. housing market on this channel, we all know it, this is much bigger than real estate. But the realities are this, friends. I've said this from the very beginning. The U.S. housing market has the capability of crashing the U.S. economy. And that is, in fact, what we're seeing play out as we speak. You see, this is really the, the nuts and bolts of it, friends. The housing market clearly got too euphoric and people piled and drank that Kool-Aid, had no idea of what was actually brewing. It was a housing bubble and it was going to in fact pop and it's now reverse course. So what's the byproduct of that? A recession. Anytime we lose the housing market, we're going to lose the economy and it's going to start with job layoffs. Now, the federal government anticipated this. They pretty much told us this and uncertain ways sugarcoating it really that we you know we need to get the housing market needs to have some a correction and we you know the job numbers are still relatively high we'd like to see that start to go the other direction as well blah 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 the realities are is the cure was much worse than the problem we basically took the drugs away from the drug addict and what happens when you take the drugs away from a drug addict they're going to be uncomfortable. They're going to have a detox. They're going to have DTs. They're going to feel the effects of that. And it's a really hard pill to swallow for Americans right now is they're going to have to learn how to live without the stimulus injections. My gosh, this is insane. So to drive our point home today as we read between the lines and look between the cracks and raise awareness, ring the bell, sound the alarm and try to protect people. Let them know, hey, listen, this is what happens when you overheat the U.S. housing market. It's going to take down the whole economy and it's going to go along for the ride. So we're all seeing on mainstream media now, nail in the coffin as soon as they get a hold of these narratives. Layoffs are now sweeping America and it's starting in the white collar sector. This is going to be a white collar recession guaranteed. So today we're going to go ahead and read an article that uh, was released according to the Dallas Federal Bank, Federal Reserve, what they're having to say about uh, what's going on right now. And let me just tell you, friends, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. Let's go ahead and run this article. Back here to wrap it up. Let's get started. The Dallas Fed reports a bursting housing market bubble could once again plunge us into a recession if policymakers aren't careful. The possibility of a sharp price correction leading to an economic contraction would further complicate Federal Reserve inflation-fighting efforts, writes the Dallas Fed. Home builders and economists alike were on edge this spring after the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas published a paper titled Real-Time Market Monitoring find signs of a brewing U.S. housing bubble. This might be a housing bubble. The evidence suggests it looks like a housing bubble. A little bit like a duck. It walks like a duck. It looks like a duck. It certainly may be a duck. Chair Jerome Powell has made it clear the Fed will reset the U.S. housing market through a difficult correction. However, there's a possibility that the central bank could see us slide into something more troubling. 
Troubling indeed. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. Welcome back. So a pretty big uh, alarm bell ringing. Unfortunately, many people don't. They're just caught up in what are the latest housing market trends doing? When can I buy my next house? When it will be at affordable again? What happens if interest rates do... Get out of the problem and in the solution. Throw the playbook out the window. Data won't save you. This is very, very, very simple. It's basic mathematics. What goes up must come down. And we are coming down as we speak. Whew, this is insanity. Now, hopefully, most of you halfway expected this. I always say, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, then you come out somewhere in the middle. If you're prepared for something, it's better to be prepared for something and have it not happen than have something happen and not be prepared. I'm talking mentally, even if it's just you're mentally prepared. Financially and mentally prepared, then you get to go strike when there's blood in the streets. But let me just tell you, friends, if you're watching other channels that are talking about the data and this and that and the other thing, you're going to stay stuck on the sidelines forever. <laughs> this is insane to me. The realities are only the a few select people are going to be able to navigate, go against reverse FOMO, and everybody's exiting. They're going to go in and buy up properties. You won't time the bottom of a real estate crash, but you can time the top of a real estate bubble. Congratulations. We identified it. The biggest bubble ever recorded in, in history has now reversed course. It's trending the other direction, a byproduct. This is what it looks like when you take the drugs away from a drug addict. It's going through detox. We are detoxing the U.S. housing market as we speak, and it's going to take the economy along for the ride. And the, the million dollar question on this one, friends, the blowback, how severe will it be? I anticipate it's going to be pretty severe because if we're just getting started and this is what it looks like, can you imagine what it's going to look like in a year from now? My goodness. It's going to be tricky navigating through this, but I am so glad that we've been centered and surrounded with like-minded people where iron will sharpen iron, where we're going to halfway expect this, not be a deer in the headlights, be able to navigate through it much more efficiently. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life, understanding this is what's happening now. The U.S. housing market is going to take down the U.S. economy. It's all playing out. This time around versus previous bubbles, a lot more alarm bells are going off for sure. I don't know if this was on accident or on purpose. You would think the smartest people in the world that are in charge of running the greatest country in the world might have known when they flooded the economy with free money, it was going to do this. It's insane. Like I think we would have been much better off letting this economy crash when we had to lock it down, if we had to or not. Another question we have to ask ourselves, but we would have been better off letting it, a flash crash happen right out of, out of the gate. We'd have probably been already in a re- build effort. Our current administration dropped the ball on us. Now, again, for most of us, when we're ready, hopefully stacked a little cash, got some friends together, going to go enter these markets, maybe buy some investment properties. I like that. So hopefully we'll be able to navigate some people into that situation. But first, some people are going to have to navigate out of what they just got themselves into. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.